Today we are going to review the Robosun Bumblebee. What's up Epic Collectors? Welcome to another unboxing and review sort of. Well, as you can see is already unboxed this Robosun Bumblebee. I don't know what you can call it. It's a robot basically. Uh, it's, it's Transformers, but it's not a transforming robot. So I've I've done a unboxing video a uh, few months back, but I haven't really had time to do a full on review. So this is the time. But I don't know everything about this figure. But I'm going to tell you everything I know about this figure. Get it? Okay. So let's move on. So as you can see, this is the figure. But first of all, let me show you the box it came with. So this is the box, the shipper box, the brown shipper box, which shows Bumblebee in a sort of a blueprint type thing. And then uh, on the other side is the Transformers Autobots logo and Transformers. Right there at the bottom, there's nothing you can see. Robosun sticker all over like that. And then when you take it out, you will be seeing this box. Same, basically the same drawing or figure. But uh, this is the real robot, the real item or the real product. And it shows here, it's from Robosan, the robot company. I don't know how it's really pronounced, Robosan or Robosan. It's up to you guys. So it's called a performance bumblebee. I don't know what that even means. And it's licensed by Hasbro. And this other side also shows Transformer, oh, sorry, Transformers. And a very cool looking blueprint of the robot showing all the details, the mechanisms, the electronics, you know, robotic parts. And uh, yeah, a very, very uh, red Autobot logo in the middle. And on the top, it's the Transformers G1. 84 that means generation one or first generation transformers 1984 i presume and then at the bottom it shows the distributor which is comic cave so this is not a uh, sponsored video so, but i'm just giving you all the, the details and information that you need so this is distributed by comic cave uh, on the other side, there's Autobot logo and the functions. It says cognition, advanced computing, advanced language processing, accessibility, voice activated, remote control, skills in action library, stability, advanced adaptive control algorithm, mobility and flexibility, 17 high precision servo motors programming enabled. So from that, you can see all the functions that this amazing figure has. It's not just a figure, but it's a robot, it's an RC, it's an AI, <laughs> basically it's everything. Uh, well, it's not really an AI, because uh, maybe it's an AI, I don't know. There's a programming involved. So there's an application that you can download, it says here. Download app from App Store, Google Play, and there's a QR here. Okay, so that's it for the box. And like, they've really put a lot of effort into this box. This is itself is an artwork. So, yeah. Then when you open this box, you will be getting this clamshell uh, styrofoam sort of and a case and when you open it okay it's got the again Autobot logo authentic transformers and it's got the Robosan logo here 
and a manual that shows again bumblebee in sort of a blueprint okay that's the manual and when you open it you'll be getting uh, okay bumblebee and his blaster and this is the charger and these are cables included cables for charging it okay and at the back there's nothing so let's just put it back and let's review this thing so like I said I don't know everything about this figure but I'll tell you everything I know about this figure so far so like I've said this is a non-transforming robot but it's got a lot of tricks up its sleeve okay so when I say it's not a transforming robot I'm gonna show you so I've already, I've already downloaded the application on my iPhone and uh, you can see this is the interface Exit program mode. so you got a remote control if you want to control the robot manually action programming if you're into programming haven't uh, tried that yet actions these are pre-programmed actions off. that you can uh, use so he can do all his maneuvers and actions and there's a download center which you where you can download additional functions or movements for the robot and there's a mini theater program mode. where there's a like a pre-programmed uh, play so when you pl press this one it's gonna do its own like a mini theater sort of play okay so I'm just gonna go to the remote Enter Bluetooth control, control. voice function off so there's one thing to mention this blaster has its own light where you can uh, turn on and turn off using this switch and you can actually remove this one maybe when you're gonna replace the battery so that is removable and it's important to know that some of the functions or the actions of the robot uh, you should remove this blaster because it's gonna affect or maybe damage it when it does the tricks I'm gonna show that later um, okay so first let's put him back actually let's uh, yeah it's okay he's already connected we already connected him to the Bluetooth and so there's an action here that you can try with the blaster better if there's a light on the blaster all right okay and this is just a hey, it's simple great to action see you. what's your name and it says random it just does any random action waiting 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 loading 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 mm. hmm. that's weird didn't do anything sort of hang this is the first time is it's done that actually anyway let's go back and see if we can enter Bluetooth control, control. Mode. okay Voice this function is off. this is the okay you you heard that it says that when you go to the remote control uh, mode the vo voice function is turned off so if you go back exit Bluetooth control mode so exit Bluetooth control mode uh, you should be able to control him with your voice bumblebee how's it going dance Right, 
so you can control him with your voice like bumblebee how's it going move forward bumblebee how's it going move backward Bumblebee. How's it going? Megatron. Megatron. Uh, well, that's unfortunate. Attack. Ha, I was born battle ready. Okay, so that's the one. Bumblebee. How's it going? Transform. Bumblebee. How's it going? Convert. Does nothing. Because, like I said, it's not a transforming or converting robot so those are just some of the functions that uh, you can uh, use for the voice command there's a lot of like list of voice commands that you can use just go to the website and you should the only thing is you have to memorize these things and uh, like you know it's another uh, struggle for that memorizing the functions so having a remote control is really handy and like I said, control mode. Voice, function off. voice function is off, so you cannot command Bumblebee using your voice when you are in the remote control mode. Bumblebee, Bumblebee, so it won't respond, okay? So this is actually one of my favorite uh, functions, the kick mode. So basically, it kicks. There you go. So if you can put something in front of him, which is I always love doing, you can boom, kick himself, <laughs> basically. And boom. All right. See, one weird thing I noticed actually is the positioning of the buttons. So. This is left, this is right, but when you press the right. Oh, all right, that makes sense now because this is his right and you are facing, I'm facing. Okay, sorry about that. I just realized now. Okay, and there is uh, another function in all here. All systems are go. And this one. Oh shucks. Woohoo! Celebrating. Okay, and of course you can move him using the directional buttons. So that's left, right. Backward, forward, bit of turn, turn. Okay, so that's the remote control function. And I've downloaded a lot or a couple of. Uh, Enter functions. Bluetooth control mode. Voice function off. So like I said, uh, one thing you should be careful of, but I'm, I'm not going to be careful in this video so you can see. I've done this a lot by mistake and uh, on purpose. So when you try to transform him, there's like a circuit fault button here. So supposedly... 
in the icons there's a weapon logo or icon that shows that this action needs a blaster but without that you should remove to be on the safe side but actually there are actions here that you know even with the weapon you can still use it but uh, you can see the hint there if it needs a weapon or not okay so we're gonna trans try to transform him with the blaster on so this I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about There you go. So he wasn't able to stand up on his own and he's like now in a very awkward position because we did not remove the blaster. So let's see. Now we will be forced to shut it off. When you shut it off, it's going to lose all power to the motors. So it's like he is now a very limpy robot. Okay, one of the questions probably you might ask is, can you, you know, uh, post this? Can you do some posing? Some, can you articulate it without the power? You know, at some, to some extent you can. So like this one, it's like an awkward... Uh, position but you can actually yes move him pose him but because of the weight some of the servo motors cannot hold the position or the posing but yeah, like I said, to some extent, you can. So without the power, you can still pose this guy. Oh, that just turned off on its own. Okay. So, yeah. It's still posable to some extent. You can make him stand. Do a bit of... Posing. So it's really cool. It's a really cool collectible. Okay, let's uh, like that. You can't do that anymore because there's no power. Let me see if we can balance him. This is very dangerous because the gravity is gonna go against it over time so I don't recommend doing this with one foot at least make him pose in using his two feet yeah it's it's, it's a fun uh, figure to pose even without the power so you can still display it without uh, powering it on okay so I'm just gonna power it back on have to press the power button at the back of his neck for a couple of seconds Hiya, and this is the Don't first action here. that he's gonna do he's gonna stretch like he's almost gonna fall backwards but as long as he's he's on a stable position or a stable surface flat surface He's not gonna fall over but unfortunately he's he has fallen over so many times because uh, we've tried on rough surfaces all right so like I've said I'm gonna connect him Bluetooth connected using the Bluetooth okay so I'm just gonna show you a couple of Enter actions control mode. That with the weapon, with the weapon. Watch out! It's Megatron. Prepare for battle. Let's 
kick it up a notch. Okay. Open fire. And last worst nightmare. A Decepticon's worst nightmare. Awesome. Okay, so for these actions I'm, I'm, I'm about to do, I'm going to have to remove the blaster. And we're going to do that thing again, circuit fault. And you will be able to see that he can stand up on his own. So, it's important that you have to remove the weapon when you do that. Okay, yeah, let's uh, do a couple of, uh, you know, actions for this guy. Astonished. He's like surprised or something. Then lower back. I'm going to have to do this. I'm not sure if he's supposed to do that, but he didn't go go back up. Oh, he can do some exercise. Thought I downloaded that before mountain climb. Okay. okay, so the charger for this is a USB Type C. Like I said, it comes with a charger, but you can actually charge it with any Type C USB charger, and you can see here if you notice the this is like the speaker where the sound comes from and there's the power button so the design is very simplistic the robot is running out of power please charge immediately okay so you can see that it says or you heard that it says it's running out of power which is really good to mention because uh once it runs out of power while you're playing it, it's just gonna go limp and it might fall and you know, can damage it. So that's a warning for us to stop the video, I guess. I'm not sure if, really, if I've really uh, fully charged this one, but this is like now a 20 minutes, 25 minutes video. And uh, I've been playing with them for maybe a good 15 minutes so you can say that depends on the actions and depends on the movements uh, you can play with this guy for a good one hour uh, maybe 45 minutes and yeah it's a really really fun uh, robot you know, you can talk to it, you can uh, control it in remote control, you can pose it even without the power and such a good uh, quality plastic, you know, this guy has fallen a lot already and there's a bit of scratch in here if you can see it's from kicking, you know, <laughs> some of the figures that you can see in my uh, shorts videos but yeah he's really worth it 
I guess for the price, uh, it's almost like a price of, uh, I guess, a bit more uh, than the 3.0 Deluxe. Actually, double the price of the Deluxe. I got it like 10% cheaper. Not cheaper, but yeah, I got 10% off from uh, the store. Comic Cave, again, not a sponsored video. Um, anyway, so I guess it's time for me to bail and actually once you exit the exit program, program mode. mode you can command him to shut down bumblebee how's it going shut down see you later see you later alligator okay now he sits in this in this kind of position and you can plug the charger on his back yeah so thank you again for watching and thank you for uh, subscribing if you haven't yet subscribed please subscribe to my channel I have tons of uh, figures and robots to review and thank you for supporting my channel and till the next video I'll be back